If an exception happens inside of a function in Python, but the function doesn't have exception handling inside it, then the function will exit and check if there's exception handling surrounding the function call. Also, it's better to handle exceptions around a function call than to handle it within a function, and I'll show why in the next example we're about to see. In this program, we have a function called getAge, where the age is prompted by the user, how old are you, and it gets entered in as a string, and the int function converts it to an integer, and then the function returns the age. And then in our program, we set age to the return value of this getAge function, and we print out you are age years old. So if we run this program, how old are you? If you're 12, it prints out you're 12 years old. But the program can crash if you type something that's not an integer, like 12. What you could do is add exception handling in your function, so it could look like this. Try to do that. And have an accept block. And we could just say print enter integers only, you idiot. I'm doing this on purpose so you could see like a point I'm trying to prove later. And just in case we're not able to get an age to make sure a valid number is returned, just set age to zero. Let's run the program. How old are you? Five. Enter integers only, you idiot. Okay, so that's what it says, and then it prints out zero. So imagine if somebody else at your job wrote this get age function and you weren't able to edit it or modify it, but you're able to use it whenever you wanted. And every single time you use it, it's always going to print out, enter integers only, you idiot. So it will do it like both times. Five, that worked. Five, okay, that called me an idiot. So I don't want to have the person who wrote the function to have complete control of how that exception is handled. Because so what if I didn't want it to print anything at all? Or what if I wanted a different message to print? Or what if I wanted it to just log some kind of message in the database or print something to a log file or whatever the case may be, it's not really a good idea to handle exceptions inside of a function. What you should do instead is just leave the function, you know, as is. You don't want to have to worry about exceptions when you're writing functions. Just write the functions forget about exception handling, and then when you're calling the function, that is when you add the try catch around it. So now, when we're calling it, we'll try to do this. We'll try to set age to get age. And then if that works, we'll print out the age, and if there's a problem, accept, and we'll print a friendlier message. Sorry, that is an invalid number. I am so sorry. And then a sad face. Okay, so it's a little bit nicer than the previous message, but if we run the program now and we type an invalid number, it tells you your own custom message. And then later on, if you wanted to, you know, later on in your program, let's just say like way later on, you wanted to get age again, you can print a completely different message whoops, wrong format for age or whatever you want. Or you could send the data to a database or to a log file or as a pop-up message, send an email, whatever it is you want this accept block to do, you can handle it differently every single time rather than it always being handled exactly the same every single time because it was done inside of a function. So if I run the program now, I get two different accept blocks for that exception that was thrown. And that's why it's important to have exception handling around function calls rather than inside of a function.